Hello nation. Welcome to this dose of Dr. E. We're going to talk about the glucagon kit. When do you give someone glucagon? When they're having such a bad low, they're doing the fried egg, they're having a seizure, they're unresponsive, and they're out of it. And you definitely do not want to shove anything in their mouth because it'll go in their lungs and cause a severe infection. We call that aspiration. Now the current glucagon kits are pretty tough. They have to be given most of the time by lay people, someone that you love that may have diabetes. And since glucagon comes in a powder, you cannot mix it except just before you're going to use it. It comes with a syringe and some diluting fluid. You pull off this cap, you put in the needle, you squirt in the diluting fluid, you shake it up, and then you got to withdraw it out again. Then you jab it in the individual's leg or their arm, any place. And don't worry, through their clothes, they won't even remember, even if they yell out, ouch. And it works pretty quickly, and you can bring them back to normal mentation very fast. And that's important because the longer you're low, the potential for brain damage can occur. Doesn't happen very often. So that's important. And anybody on insulin can have a severe low blood sugar and should have a glucagon kit. They expire pretty quickly after a year. And so this one, oh yeah, expired 1958. No, it's only four years ago. And so the newer technologies is very exciting. A company called Lilly, you know them quite well, they're making a nasal glucagon. You have a device, you put it in someone's nose and you spray it in and you don't have to mix it, you don't have to inject. And so that's incredible advance. And also there's a company called Xeris, X-E-R-I-S, and they're making a constituted glucagon, already comes in liquid, doesn't expire for two years, and it comes in an auto injector pen. You never see the needle. You just pull off the tip, and you jab it and it's spring loaded. So uh, hopefully we'll see less and less people with hypoglycemia as time goes on, as we develop better medications, continuous glucose monitors, but it's always gonna be an issue as long as people take insulin. So long.